Good afternoon, everyone. Let me share with you why I shifted and became a passionate supporter of work environments that are that promote human growth rather than being soul crushing. For 20 years, I was Yvette de Luna, the employment attorney that defended companies from their own employees. What a gig, right? And I enjoyed it. The wins were exciting and it it was fun to, to a certain degree. But at some point, the wins started to feel sour. You know, they didn't really feel all that good because I was protecting environments and people that <coughs> stifle other people. But I chose to ignore how I felt about it. And meanwhile, outside the courtroom, life started throwing punch, punches my way. The first one was my daughter was born ill and for 10 days we feared for her life. The second one, we lost everything in a flood. And then a very big punch came when my husband died. Then center stage came in Maria, Hurricane Maria. And I lost everything. I lost uh, my businesses, my home, my entire life. I was starting over at 57. But the point of all that is that I was, through it all, I was very strong. I was like steel. And, you know, I kept saying, life bring it on because you're not gonna keep me down type of thing. But those Maria punches, they really pushed me to the edge and to the edge of the proverbial cliff. I kept, I was stubborn as ever, and I kept, you know, chanting to myself, I am strong, hear me roar. And I left Puerto Rico, and in a farewell that felt as if I was swallowing knives, I left my daughter and my granddaughter, and I came to Houston. I had a big girl corporate gig, and in 2000, uh, 17 November 2017 I started that and I thought to myself well things are getting better right <laughs> things have shifted and they did they did that just the way I thought because it came like boom the punch that threw me flying off that cliff remember when 2020 walked in holding hands with the pandemic <laughs> well as soon as it said let me introduce you to COVID-19 I caught it I had it. I was ill very before March 2020 ended. I was seriously ill. And I couldn't get up out of my bed and I couldn't do anything. And I spent my days coughing and crying. And I spent my days coughing and thinking and wondering if I would ever see my kids again. And I spent my days coughing and thinking that, you know, Maybe that last hug that I gave them a couple of months before was the last hug I would ever give them. And that's when it hit me. What had been missing from my life up to that point was my heart. My heart. I had been taking decisions and I had been relating to people and I had been doing it all without my heart. So no wonder, even the things that were right felt misaligned, even no wonder I had been mechanically strong when I should have been vulnerable and human. No wonder, no wonder I did not have an authentic self nor an authentic voice. So in 2021, uh, by 2021, I had done enough self-work and self-love that I realized I don't wanna help employers defend themselves anymore from <clears throat> their own employees. I want to help them create work environments where they can connect to each other. And that's what I've been doing ever since. And I have to say it, it's a cliche, I know, but falling off that cliff was the best thing that ever happened to me. Thank you.